So look here, on our animal cell, we've got um, the membrane surrounding the cell, cell membrane. Um, we've got mitochondria, like we talked about for cellular respiration, a nucleus in the middle holding some DNA, that's the squiggly stuff in black. Um, we've got the endoplasmic reticulum right outside the nucleus, and it has a bunch of these ribosomes on it. Um, so we've got our ribosomes in purple. Um, these black circles are lysosomes. Um, this sort of stack of banana looking things is a Golgi apparatus. It's got some vesicles budding off of it and um, actually fusing with the cell membrane. So that's our animal cell. And the last thing to mention is the cytoplasm, which is pointing to nothing because it's the space in between all of this. And if we look at the plant cell, we have a lot in common, but the things to point out are that there is a cell wall in green outside of the cell membrane. Um, and then we also have these chloroplasts in green, which were the site of photosynthesis. And the last thing is that you have this big vacuole, which is kind of like um, the refrigerator, if you ask me. It's where we store all the extra water um, and sometimes food for a plant cell. So there's our plant cell. Now, if you wanna find out what some of these things do, we're gonna have to go on a field trip. So come with me. city are all in here, the courthouse. Just like the rules for the cell are all in here, the nucleus. Okay, so I'm downtown, it kind of smells like this, and I'm here at the power plant, or the place where our city gets its energy. Just like the mitochondria, some say the powerhouse of the cell. This is where the cell does cellular respiration and gets all the energy it needs. but I can't use it to run around. It's not the right kind of energy. Good thing we have these solar panels that can convert the sun energy into a form we can use to heat our houses or that kind of thing, um, which is really like the chloroplast, where we take in sunlight, do photosynthesis, and make sugars like glucose that the plant can use for energy. At the school that leads, we prepare you to be anything you want to be. Uh, just like the ribosome that makes proteins to do all the important jobs in the cell. So if the ribosomes are the schools making proteins to do all kinds of jobs, then the endoplasmic reticulum is like our school district office. It's in control of all the schools, just like the ER controls all the ribosomes. Here we are at the Golgi apparatus, basically the cell's Amazon. It can bring in new things that it needs in the cell. It can ship things off when the cell makes proteins or other kinds of materials. Uh, so yeah, Amazon of the cell, Golgi apparatus. Here we are at the vacuole, or the place where a plant cell holds its extra food and water. You can think of this like a fridge or maybe a grocery store. I'm gonna go get a snack. All right, so we're at the lysosome or the recycling center of the cell. Um, so this is where old things get broken down and then the little pieces can be reused. Um, so just like my recycling, we'll break down our metals and our plastics and reuse them hopefully. Time to recycle. So cytoplasm is the empty space in cells where things can move around. Just like, look at all this space for me to play. At the school that we, oh, damn it. All those proteins, can't get rid of it. Okay, 
So cells have this like empty space or gel cytoplasm where oh, things. Stop, stop.